Hello friends, welcome back to the Dork Side. I'm the Dork in the Road. This is Lil Dork, and we are headed up to Portland because it is new bike day. I'm the Dork in the Road, and I want to be your internet riding buddy, so please consider subscribing. We are headed up to Beaverton Motorcycles in, of all places, Beaverton, to see our buddy Van, who is an awesome guy and a fan of the channel, and uh, we are picking up a new vehicle today. It is not a motorcycle, so I'm getting a quad to use here on the property. We're picking up a Suzuki King Quad 400 ASI so that I can use it to build trails and haul stuff for my campsite and basically just put around the property here, and Lildor's going to ride it too. Yeah. We're going to travel about two hours, but I won't put you through all that here in the video and we'll talk about why we ended up with this quad and what we plan on using it for a little bit later but let's get there and buy the dang thing let's go new quad day new quad day this place is no joke the coolest motorcycle dealership i've ever been to because they have so much stuff unbelievable amount of gear tons of inventory and like vintage motorcycles on display it's like a mu museum it's worth coming here even if you're not shopping what do you think lil it's pretty cool that's pre pretty dope that's pretty dope are you pressed <laughs> she's not pressed are you impressed yes okay if you need any razors they have a bazillion they even have to stack the motorcycles or the quads they have to stack them the old king quad 400 four by four I seriously want one of these. This is that two-wheel drive electric. Pretty sweet. So we're here. We're in the dealership with Jordan, who's the man. So hey. if you need anything, and they sell basically everything, come here, talk to Jordan, tell him Dork sent you. But we're buying a quad today, so thanks for hooking us up with that. Hey, no problem. Making it happen. Yeah, definitely. It's gonna be sweet. See, they have all these cool old bikes on display. And I've never actually seen one of these in person, but a Zero DSRX, they have two of them. And there's another one I think over there, so they have three. That's that new Zero electric adventure bike. They're like $25,000. Well, you see what I mean? Like with the, with the museum, basically? It's worth stopping by just to check this stuff out. Disneyland in here. We are here with Van the Man, who is uh, the architect, along with Jordan, of this deal that we're doing today. So I just want to say thanks, man. Yep. And, if, and if you need anything, because I, I just filmed a bunch, like mm -hmm. they have so much stuff here. Come see Van, come see Jordan. I just want to say thanks, man, and give people a chance to see your face. Thank you. Glad we can finally make a deal, my brother. Yeah, well, I don't think it'll be the last time. No, I feel sure like not. it won't. I, I buy sure too not. many bikes for that to be a thing. But That's right. Yeah, much appreciated. We got it, buddy. Yeah. We're going to ring the bell, which means we paid money for a vehicle. Let's do it. Employee of the month. Hi, buddy. You've done this before. Oh, it's, it's got my name on it. There you go. What do you think, kid? It's cool. Yeah, how come? What's cool about it? I don't know. It's bright red. It is bright red. Is there an 11? There is not an 11, but you can write 11 and circle okay. that. And I'm sure the sales manager would want that. Yeah. Well, this is Chance, by the way. So Chance. You, what is your, what is your um, title here? I am a service advisor. Service advisor is going to walk us through delivery, everything on the quad to make sure that I know what I'm doing so that if I hurt myself after this, it's my fault. That is correct. Yeah. Yes. And, break, and or break it. I'm glad that you understand what's going yeah. on. Right. I get it. No, it's all about that. So to do most everything you need, key's going to go on. You have lights on and then just normal on. So if you want to have your headlights available or not, those are options for you. One thing right here, right? No brakes. Oh, it does go. Never mind. I apologize. I was going to say. Normally, they have a function where you have to have your brake all the way in uh -huh. for it to start. This one will allow you to do that for It's a cheap one, so they don't no, care. No, it's not say cheap. It's just more level. Entry level. Entry level. There you go. Uh, getting them in here. The seat coming off is so really straightforward. The little latch right here. Got to pull it on off. You got this down. You do this for every vehicle? Every so 
have to like know all this about everything you guys sell. Yes. Wow. So, yeah. So nice. I know pretty much every aspect, everything that we do. Um, and as part of being a service writer, you have to know that kind of stuff when it comes in. Because mm -hmm. um, people come in and they do a lot of research online with what's going on with their unit. And sometimes it's really helpful and sometimes it's very the opposite. Mm -hmm. You never really know. I've seen one symptom lead to two different causes. So you never know, you know, that. So you have to be able to diag what's going on and know the common problems with different units as well as knowing the common features of each one. So. Nice. So it's been about a week, uh, Christmas and stuff happened in there, so I haven't been doing a lot of writing and filming, but I did want to just jump in and kind of do some explanation like I promised in the first half of the video. Uh, and really answer two questions. The first one is, why did you buy a quad? Great question. And two, why did you buy this quad? Also a great question. So rest assured, this is not becoming a quad channel, not becoming a quad guy. Uh, I think that is maybe reflected in my choice because those of you that know quads know this is not exactly a high performance model, but that's not what I was after. So I bought a quad mostly for the property. I'm itching to get some trails built. I haven't shown you guys like super in depth, but I've alluded to it a few times. But basically here I have, there's about three acres across the street on kind of a hillside. There's about an acre, acre and a half where the house is. And then there's 11 acres or so, that's bad math, but 10 acres or so behind me and that all goes all the way up to logging company land so there's no one back there it's just a big open forest but there's no access because there's a giant hill it's very steep a couple hundred feet hill i built my campsite about halfway up the hill because there's a nice flat spot kind of close to the house but what i want to do is build trails to access it make more campsites up on top and eventually make motorcycle riding trails a great place to test new bikes and just go riding and do all kinds of fun stuff here at the house. But I don't want to go trailblazing on motorcycles because they fall over. I also don't want to just like go out with a shovel and dig a trail. I want to ride this thing, that's what it's for, up the hill and kind of blaze my own trail as I go. Something I can go up slowly and something I can carry stuff. So I'll put a chainsaw on the back so that if I come across anything I'll just cut it down. Uh, I'll use this to carry all the pavers up to my campsite. I've got a little trailer so I can haul firewood and gravel if I eventually want to gravel up top or gravel the trails. This is a work vehicle. And so I did not prioritize the fun quad. I prioritized the cheapest, most reliable, effective quad for what I was trying to do. So it's for working around the house. You may see it from time to time, but you're not gonna see a bunch of quad videos unless people are just like super interested. So why did I buy this quad? Why the Suzuki King quad? Why the 400? It is, the cheapest 4x4 Japanese quad you can buy. Bottom line, that's exactly why I bought it. The Honda Rancher is a little bit more, but uh, two wheel drive, unless you get an upgraded model, and then if you want an automatic, that's a little more. I don't actually care about automatic versus foot shift. I'm obviously used to foot shifting, but this one, this is a 22, so I got a bit of a deal because it's new old stock. It's cheaper to begin with, the MSRP is lower, my boy Van hooked us up, as you saw, so he gave me a really good deal. This is an automatic, four-wheel drive, Japanese quad, very reliable. It's not a Honda, but it's not a Polaris either. So this is going to last me as long as I need it to for the kind of work that I'm going to try to do. So I'm not trying to go expensive. i got to make smart choices, one of which is the cheapest quad you can buy. So I did look used for a long time. I spent weeks looking at used quads. And I was going to spend $6,000 for, for an eight-year-old quad or something. It's crazy what they go for. We, the P&W premium is real and it sucks. And it's why I so often end up buying new because the price difference is minimal. Like it's not even $1,000 between a new and a well-used one sometimes. I don't really know that much about quads to be honest. Some of you do. So man, I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts and advice on on quad things what you know i think in a basket for the back to carry stuff because i don't want to strap things down every time a basket would mean i could throw firewood or whatever just in it um, what else do i need to do what are must-have mods what should i look out for writing techniques i'm a little concerned i'm going to do something stupid it's a little unnerving i took it out obviously i've ridden it around the property and did a bunch of side healing or traversing as they call it in the atv world and i put my foot down more than once when i got on an angle which is bad don't do this thing is like 600 pounds 
Um, but it doesn't tip. <laughs> I'm just used to motorcycle, you know, tipping like, um, so it's a whole new skill set. Some things are the same, like keep your weight uphill, you know, you got to stand up, move around, whatever, but I'm learning a lot, so your tips and tricks would be appreciated. But anyway, that's the King Quad. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's it. I can't wait to build some trails with this thing. And you may not see a lot of the quad, but you will eventually see the results of the quad. So let me know what else you might want to see on it. But for now, and as always, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. And please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Uh, thank you. Excellent!